This is the biggest week in Australian motorsport. This is Great Race Week, and we're set for another epic Repco Bathurst 1000. But before it all gets underway, there's a bit of racing to cover to warm your racing cockles. MotoGP headed to Japan, and yet again, the title fight took another turn. Peko Bagnaia led from start to finish, claiming an important victory. And at first glance, it looked like Michael Jackson was waving Bagnaia the checker. In a relatively straightforward race, Pedro Acosta was the only one unfortunate enough to make the highlights real. NASCAR ventured to Talladega for some boogity boogity boogity. Boogity boogity boogity! Let's go racing, you bunch of hot dogs! Daniel Suarez had an early misfortune, slipping back through the pack before taking the wrong line and ending his chances. Then they did a lot of this type of side-by-side -side racing. They even came into the pits five wide. Oh, and they smash a lot too. At the end of stage two, they all tried to make it across the line at the same time and it didn't work. But that wasn't the half of it. In the later stages of the race, they all decided to crash and bash. And yes, it was basically all of them. In the end, a three-way fight to the checker saw Ricky Stenhouse win, ahead of Brad Keselowski and William Byron. And amazing news for Australia in the motocross of nations, with our boys taking the overall win. Queensland brothers Jet and Hunter Lawrence and West Aussie Kyle Webster dominated the tricky British Dirt Bowl to claim Australia's first ever win in the event. And yes, of course, there was plenty of bone-jarring incidents. Some, it seemed, just gave up, while others had incidents that made us want to turn away from the screen. And for now, that's all. But in the next edition of Bob's Track Talk, you better be ready for something big. Mountainous, you might say. I'm Richard Crail, and you'll hear from me next week.